in its third generation, the Lexus is as aimed squarely at the BMW 3 Series saloon. Although there is a choice of seven trims as well as a pair of engines, the real sweet spot in the range is the IS 300 hours F Sport thanks to its blend of equipment, good looks and sharper handling. The IS as a whole doesn't quite pass muster as a true equal to the likes of the excellent BMW or the RDA 4 saloon and Mercedes-Benz C-Class saloon, it's probably a closer rival to the Jaguar and Alfa Romeo Giulia. Bigger and more luxurious the dimensions of the IS offer an increase in cabin size with a wider stance and a longer wheelbase providing more rear legroom as well as increased luggage space compared with the outgoing model. Most versions get 60 hours 40 minutes folding rear seats as well as a driver's seat offering better support and a more comfortable driving position than the previous models. You sit lower in the cabin and grip a steering wheel inspired by the LFA supercar. Inside, the interior design uses Litec display equipment and new materials that are a step up in terms of quality. There are touch-sensitive switches for the air conditioning requiring only the lightest brush of a finger to operate. Extremely low running costs while the previous generation has had plenty of high-tech standard kit and a range of efficient engines that allowed relatively low-cost motoring, CO2 emissions weren't quite as good as the competitions, which meant fleet drivers looked the other way. This version gets the option of a hybrid petrol, electric powertrain with very impressive CO2 figures. It's going to appeal to private buyers thanks to high claimed fuel economy figures, while company car drivers are going to applaud the lower benefit in kind taxation offered by a petrol car emitting just 97 grams slash km in its 300 hours Satrim. Great ownership experience The ownership experience is likely to be fairly flawless. Lexus scores incredibly highly in customer satisfaction surveys and its dealerships are known for good service. It'll be reliable, too. Lexus is the luxury arm of Toyota, which means you get typical Japanese build quality that should last the length of your ownership period. Lexus is saloon model history February 2013. Third generation Lexus is saloon available to order in petrol engine is 250 and petrol electric hybrid is 300 hours geysers. The range structure starts with say and moves up through luxury, F Sport and up to Premier, both driver trains are available with each trim combination. June 2014, the range is fleshed out further with the launch of the IS 300 hours Executive Edition, sitting just about the entry level say. Standard features include a full leather interior and satnav, with 17-inch alloy wheels sprucing up the exterior. April 2015, new advanced trim level introduced for the IS 300 hours featuring many of the more expensive luxury versions core features such as leather upholstery, heated and ventilated front seats and 17-inch alloy wheels. Modification see a reduction in CO2 emissions across the range with the entry level is 300 hours say emitting just 97 grams slash km. September 2015, is range expanded with the introduction of the 200 tons versions, powered by a 2.0 litre turbocharged engine developing 245 horsepower. An 8-speed automatic transmission is standard, with the as 200 tons available in Sport, F Sport and Premier specifications. All IS 250 models are discontinued. December 2016, facelift that is range available to order, with first deliveries in January 2017. Visually the changes are centered around a modified front end, with high spec models featuring LED headlamps, while the suspension and dampers have been tweaked to improve handling and make it more comfortable. The biggest revamp for the cabin centers around an improved multimedia system. The specification hierarchy of say, Executive Edition, Sport, Advance, Luxury, F Sport and Premier remains, with the IS 200 tons only available in conjunction with the top two trims. Find out how we rate this dashing compact executive with the full Lexus's saloon review. Two powertrains to choose from one hybrid, one four-cylinder turbo massive 90% of buyers pick the former there's a pair of engine options available supplying Lexus IS performance. You also get the drive mode select system which can alter the response of the engine depending on whether you choose to drive in eco, normal or sport configurations. Eco tones things down a bit and sport sharpens them up. Hybrid powertrain the first, and most popular in the UK, is the hybrid is 300 hours. This makes use of a 2.5 litre, 4 cylinder petrol engine coupled to an electric motor. The total power output is 223 horsepower which is fed to the rear wheels via a continuously variable transmission, CVT, gearbox that can be controlled via the paddles mounted behind the steering wheel. 
Lexus states the S300 hours will hit 62 miles per hour in 8.3 seconds, while top speed is 125 miles per hour on the road. This version of the S doesn't feel particularly quick, though. The power delivery is smooth, but if you try to drive quickly, you'll soon be frustrated with the lack of response from that CVT gearbox. It makes a lot of noise, but progress doesn't quite follow. Four cylinder petrol engine. The other option is the IS 200 tons that features a 2.0 litre petrol motor, good for 244 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque thanks to its turbocharger. It certainly feels the sportier of the pair but is slightly hampered by its 8 speed automatic gearbox, which feels like it saps power through hesitation. It's quicker in a straight line though, boasting a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 7.0 seconds and a more powerful fuel thanks to the boost from its turbocharger. Lexus reckons 9 out of 10 buyers will choose the hybrid option, which makes the 200 tons something of a rarity. It's not a particularly bad powertrain, but it's less efficient than the 300 hours without being sufficiently more engaging. Balanced and predictable handling safe but not exactly soul-stirring chassis and suspension revisions for 2017 on the whole, the handling of the Lexus is as balanced and neutral. It doesn't do anything untoward when driving normally, and this is the manner in which most of these cars will be driven. The facelift in 2017 aimed to improve handling dynamics without compromising comfort and to a degree it has been successful. While earlier cars suffer from inert and vague steering, updated versions feature componentry from the larger GS boasting smoother and more accurate feel. The IS was also put on a diet, while having its structural rigidity increased and suspension revised in the interest of delivering a cushier ride and better body control. Being rear-wheel drive, you may expect the rear to break loose under extremes, but the neutral balance means the front pushes wide long before this. For the best handling, you'll want to order an F-Sport with its upgraded suspension system. This has been tuned to deliver a stiffer composure for flatter cornering, although it's a little bit bumpier as a trade-off. You get the drive mode select system, which lets the driver choose from one of four modes, Eco, Snow, Normal and Sport. Pick the optional towing pack and you'll get a brake towing capacity of 1,500 kg for the IS 200 tons and 750 kg for the IS 300 hours, excluding say. There's an optional adaptive suspension system available on IS 300 hours models with two damper settings, Normal, for everyday driving and Sport S Plus for tighter body control. Cabin quality Alexis strong point not quite as nice as more expensive models facelift in 2017 brought thoughtful revisions being behind the wheel of Alexis is, is fairly nice place to find yourself. At first glance the materials feel of a high quality, although some of the plastics still look out of place surrounded by all that leather. The clever dash is clear and easy to read, with both conventional and high-tech screen displayed information available to the driver. You can change the parameters shown using the controls on the steering wheel and everything seems to work in an intuitive manner. F-Sport cars get instrumentation inspired by the LFA supercar, based around a central rev counter with a screen in the middle showing you information such as your speed. At the touch of a button this moves to the side to display far more information on the dash. It's a gimmick, but it's a very slick and interesting one. The navigation and multimedia systems are very simple to use and there's a couple of very clever features like the facility to identify nearby car parks and get local live traffic information. The Lexus Premium Navigation Multimedia System was enlarged from 7.0 to 10.3 inches in 2017, while the joystick control was remodeled to feature a new enter button and a larger palm rest. Other revisions include a slimmer audio and ventilation control panel surrounded by thicker bolsters, this stuck out on the old car so you could bang your knee on it. There's also some new stitching and a cup holder arrangement that now accepts a smartphone. Lexus's comfort levels are very high. One of the first things you'll notice about it is how quiet it is on the move. The Japanese firm has done a lot of work on the car's aerodynamics to make it slippery and more fuel efficient, but the knock-on effect of this is that it generates less wind noise too. Furthermore, the hybrid powertrain is nearly silent at lower speeds, which further reduces the noise intruding into the cabin. The seats are very comfortable and supportive and the ride quality is very good. It's slightly bumpier with F-Sport suspension, but not in a bone-jarringly severe way. Five main equipment grades from Santa Premier is 200 tons comes only in the top two trim several packs of kit to add optionally to as of the 2017 facelift there are five core equipment trims for the as 300 hours, say, 
Executive Edition, Luxury, Advance, Sport, F Sport and Premier. It's not quite as simple as it sounds though, as the as 200 tons comes only in F Sport and Premier. Got that? Good. Standard Lexus's saloon equipment or cars get the drive mode select system, which allows the driver to pick from a trio of modes depending on their individual requirements. There's normal, eco and sport, while as 300 hours models also get F which keeps the car in electric mode for as long as possible. Kicking things off is say spec, which comes with 16 inch alloy wheels, cruise control, climate control and a 6 speaker Lexus stereo on a 7.0 inch multimedia display screen. The big news for the entry level trim after the 2017 facelift is the inclusion of LED headlamps with LED daytime running lights and LED tail lamps. These are not only brighter but also add a high tech look to the outside of the car. In addition you can upgrade to the executive edition, which adds the Lexus safety system plus, explained in the safety section, plus automatic high beam and dimming rear view mirror, rain sensing wipers and heated front seats. The rear seats are split 60-40 and there's a reversing camera, 17-inch alloys and sat-nav to complete this generous specification. Luxury has all of that minus sat-nav, and adds leather upholstery, metal trim inlays, 8-way power adjustable front seats, with powered lumbar adjustment on the driver's seat, and front and rear parking sensors. Advanced builds on Luxury with Lexus navigation as standard, but it does not come with parking sensors. Sport trim, which adds to the same specification gains the Lexus Safety System Plus, keyless entry and start, dual zone climate control, heated front seats, automatic lights and wipers, and a reversing camera. Styling upgrades include a black front grille, mirror covers and lower rear bumper, 18-inch black wheels, and black cloth with Tahara, lightweight synthetic leather, interior trim. Finally there are two top trims, your only choice if you opt for the is 200 tons, called F Sport and Premier. The former includes upgraded LED headlights with LED front fog lights, LFA style instrument dials and 8-way electrically adjustable, heated front sports seats. In terms of style you get 18-inch alloy wheels, a specific front grille and bumper design, aluminium sports pedals, perforated leather on the steering wheel and gear lever, and aluminium cabin trim. Finally Premier gets 18-inch alloy wheels, auto folding door mirrors, 8-way electrically adjustable leather front seats with heating and ventilation, an electrically adjustable steering column, premium sat-nav, reversing camera, upgraded LED headlights, blind spot monitor and rear cross traffic alert. You also get the 15-speaker Mark Levinson sound system with DVD player and dub digital radio. Optional Lexus is accessories The Lexus is isn't exactly brimming with additional options because the trim levels are already quite well specified. Even so, there are some decent upgrades you can add depending on which grade you choose. For example, the Lexus Premium Navigation can be added to Luxury and F Sport models, while rear parking sensors are an option for say, Executive Edition, Sport and Advance models. There's even a sunroof for the Premier grade. There's also the Premier Pack which build on F Sport cars by adding equipment from the Premier grade, such as F Sport leather seats with 8-way front seat power adjustment, Mark Levinson audio system, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, adaptive variable suspension and special aluminium trim inserts. This is optional on 300h but standard on 200 tons. This post facelift car is also the first to offer a towing accessory pack can be specified, it includes a detachable towing hitch and a choice of 7 or 13 pin wiring. ISA retains its 5 star safety rating lots of autonomous tech added with 2017 facelift all cars get 8 airbags plus tire pressure monitoring there is a huge amount of equipment installed to improve Lexus is safety. This all adds up to a 5 star Euro and cap crash testing score. An all new pop up bonnet means pedestrian safety is improved, while you get 8 airbags, a tire pressure warning system and the vehicle dynamics integrated management, braking, tractions control and stability control functions. As part of a 2017 facelift the is gained full LED headlights that are 10% brighter, with a beam wider by 1 meter either side, covering the function of the front fog lights too. The Lexus Safety System Plus was added, bringing with it a pre-crash system, adaptive cruise control, lane departure alert and automatic high beam. This is standard on all cars except base say trim. Premier grade and the Premier pack additionally add a blind spot monitor and rear cross traffic alert.
Largest and most practical this model means more legroom and boot space split folding rear seats not standard Lexus is practicality is improved over the previous model. The car is 75mm longer than its predecessor and 10mm wider too. This translates to 50mm more rear legroom and a larger boot, now measuring 450 litres. Although there's a button on the key fob and a button in the car, it would be nice if the button on the boot was a little easier to find. It's a shame 6040 rear seats don't come as standard on say version of the as 300 hours, but are available on higher grades to boost practicality. You'll easily get four adults in the ears, although a fifth will be a squeeze since the transmission tunnel is fairly large and extends down the center of the car.